Hey everyone, this is Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we are going to be upcycling this spaghetti sauce jar that I used for dinner the other night. So the first thing I did was I took off the label and there was still some sticky stuff on. I did rinse that off with warm water, but I'm going to make it the back so I'm not too worried about it. The next thing I did was I just painted the entire jar with some white chalk paint. And the there was some streaking in this, so I did decide to um, give it a second coat. But make sure it's completely dry before you move on to your second coat. Now I'm also going to paint the lid. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with the lid. I decided to give that two coats as well because of the streaking. And I'm just going to dry that off really good. And now I'm going to go ahead and give my jar that uh, second coat of paint that I was just talking about. You can see some of the bare spots there that I'm trying to paint over. Okay, now I'm just going to dry this nice and good, and you can see that little bare spot there. That's where the paint was wet, and I had it tilted, so I just wanted to touch that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and touch up my lid and give that a second coat. And now we're just going to make sure that's nice and dry. Okay, so now I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm just going to rough um, over the jar with the sandpaper. I really like that uh, farmhouse grunge look, so this is the best way to achieve that. I like to focus on like the corners and the ends and like up around the um, mouth of the jar. You can see where that's kind of just taken some of that paint off and just giving a really pretty farmhouse look. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing around the edge of the lid. That looks pretty good to me. So now we're going to just take this stencil. This is a Magnolia Designs Company stencil. Um, I'm going to take that stencil. This was actually part of a bigger stencil that I had cut down. And I, I used this one pretty heavily, so it's starting to get not very sticky. So I just uh, place that down and I'm going to use the permanent ink paste for this one and my squeegee and just um, apply that stencil right onto the jar. And I'm trying to be very careful not to get any of the black ink onto my white jar. Okay, now I'm just going to lift up that stencil, and you do want to put that stencil in some water right away. And I'm going to dry it. I found this little knob down in my basement. I found a few of them. So for this project, I would, pref I would have preferred a wood knob, but I didn't have any on hand. So this glass, this white glass one worked just fine. So I'm painting it with some black chalk paint. Actually, I'm using chalkboard paint, but I would have preferred chalk, the black chalk paint, but um, my Walmart doesn't have any of that in right now. So I'm just going to keep painting it and drying it. I, I want two coats, so I did the top half and dried it, and then I switched over to the bottom half. And I always dry my workspace just so I don't get any um, paint on my final project. I felt like this jar was missing something, so I decided to take some twine and hot glue it around the jar, the rim of the jar. I did two little um, trips around with the twine, and I really thought that was just exactly what the jar needed to make it pop a little. And when you do this, you want to start gluing in the back and put your first piece in the back so the messy piece is all in the back and no one can see it. I'm just going to keep gluing this around, around the rim. This is my um, second trip around here with the twine. 
and then I'll finish in the back too. That way all the um, stuff that we cut and all the yucky parts are all in the back. I'm just going to cut that down and hot glue that little piece to the back of the jar. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, now I'm just going to take that little knob that we painted and there was actually, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there was actually a little circle that showed me exactly where the center of the lid was. So I just put a dab of hot glue there and I held it real tight until it dried. For a stronger hold, you could add a little E6000 and then add some hot glue. That is it for today's craft. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more simple DIYs just like this, please follow burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.